Hello, Mavericks, and welcome to another episode of MAV One Shots. This is your friendly host, Andalude, bringing you thrills, chills, and spills from the surface of Europa. So, this combination of shotguns and flamethrowers, it works. But, I'm thinking perhaps not perfectly as a tank build. And I'm wondering about maybe taking a biped setup. I do still want some decent recoil stability, so maybe the Pursuer with its 250... Um, oh, the, the Hunter. The Hunter might actually be very good looking at that. Lower acceleration, uh, less turning. It has some energy generation though, which is nice. Yeah, let's try some hunter legs then. Um, an interesting thing, cockpit knockback. Um, the amount that a cockpit gets knocked around for has been significantly reduced because things like, uh, things like the concussion rockets were making things interesting. So, that's a change. And I'm not entirely sure how much that change is going to affect things. I think I'm still going to go with the FCS Heavy Pit Bull V. I like having six weapons in the group. However, however, in this situation, I'm actually going to use... Let's see, what do I want here? One of these guys? Or one of these guys? Let's try this. Add part, spacer, that you. That guy, you. Okay, that's a bit too tight. So, instead of that, I think I am going to need another generator. So, not you. Let's try a pancake. Let's try a pancake generator and see how this goes. And that works on there like that. Okay. I might even want that further forward if I can. Because, of course, I am putting on the weapons. But I'm going to start with four, or maybe even five, shotguns. That cannot fit there yet. 160 shots are a bit too much for that. Um, let's try this. Let's try one of these guys, just stuck on. Like that. And then, what if I put this on the bottom? That is still too tight. Okay. Good to know. Move you. Add part, spacer, straight. And that means that we're probably going to want uh, this guy. push the button too many times. Does this now fit? That does now fit. Okay. So have you there, and I definitely want a flamer. A flame thrower. I still only have access to the light flamethrowers, which cheeses me off a tad. Wait, what? Uh, that's a problem. Hmm. That's a significant problem. Ooh. Well, that's unfortunate. 
won't be able to put that there then. I'll have to put it someplace else. So I'm thinking something like... Like this. Right, you see where I'm going with this? That is too close to the cockpit still. You know what? Screw you. I want to put this in a specific way, and you're not going to stop me. So there. Ha. Okay, and that means that's four there. I can slap this on the top now. What? No! You jerk! Cyber! Cyber, fix that! amounts of frustration this should not be cyber fix your hitboxes Okay, very specifically, this is a problem with this flamethrower, because look at that. That is the same gap that these have on it. Which means it is not this being too boxy, it is this extending too far. Possibly. It might be that this is too boxy right here. That ain't right. Fix it. Fix it now. Oh, I am so annoyed by that. Okay, we got plenty of energy, and I'd like to slap some armor on the side here. Because that's just a big old piece of uh, danger zone right there. I don't have anything here. I'm specifically going to be getting some of this. There we go. That works okay. And let's slap a little bit of armor on the front as well. Actually, let's see. Light armor. Let's go with two of these. Then. One there. One there. Okay, not there. That's nice. Just something to protect that spine a little bit. Five, two, nine. Unfortunately, I do think that this weighs a bit too much. Wait, what? Where'd you... That was an already taken spot. Why did you take it? There. You know what? This is not going to be hit as much, so I have, say, 229 points to play around with as far as armor goes. So I can get some armored light armor. There we go. That's decent. That's decent. This will be an interesting little little build. We'll have to see how it goes. What the heck is going on? Okay, someone is calling me on stuff. Muting that computer for a second. Okay. Slot one. I think I'm just going to go with... Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go with the shotguns in that slot. Um, well, not, not per se. The first one is going to be all, but then the second slot is going to be just the shotguns. 
in order to have a sort of unobstructed view weapon set. All right, let's see how this guy does. A little bit faster, uh, a little bit... It's, it's, it's more of an attacker than a defender. Um, and not a scout, probably. In any case, if you haven't joined us for a one-shot before, we play in arena mode, free-for-all, kill him at 15. We're almost always, actually I think we are always on Outpost Alpha. It is a nice small map with a, an average temperature scale. Um, rolling hills and trees, which I don't like the trees, but the hills are fine. A couple of nice rocky outcroppings. 15 minute game, five AI, all at randomized levels, three of them locked into the scout, defender, and attacker roles, and two of them get to choose their own classes. We play in one shots until one death, one kill, or one match, that is to say, if we keep on fighting and fighting and fighting and we don't kill anyone or die, or rather, I probably shouldn't start with that one, if in our combats we fight, 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 and we just keep on dying, but we don't manage to get any kills, well, we'll keep on dying until we get that single kill, and then that's the end of the one-shot. If we are just mowing through them, and we keep on killing, killing, killing without dying, that first death that we experience, that will be the end of the one-shot. If neither of those things happen, if we just mow through them all, if we get killed horribly all the time, or if nothing seems to happen, what the heck? That is one of Legacy's designs, I believe. It uses the Y spacers for a very interesting look. In any case, yeah, if neither of those things happen, we keep on... There! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What do you want to bet that this guy can fire off all of those at once because he is an AI and they cheat? That's a standard guy. Okay, very high level, though. That's interesting. Lower level, lots of machine guns. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be very interesting. Hello. Oh, I forgot to put on the... If I get a kill immediately after this, I will be kind of disappointed. Ooh, that's kind of tight. I like that. Where did he go? You know what? I'm not going to go after him. Specifically because he is weaker. I want to see what I can do against someone that is... Has not already been set on fire. Oh, um, in case you haven't seen the past couple of episodes, I am testing something. Flamethrowers and heat damage are an interesting um, mechanic because it is basically a sort of like threshold damage causer. You have to get past a certain threshold to start causing damage. But, you can get past that by using, you can potentially get past that threshold by using 160 weapons, which deal a lot of heat, or add a lot of heat. Yep, this isn't working so well. Add a lot of heat to a part with their impacts. Uh, weapon impacts. And... Usually that heat can dissipate very quickly. Um, the shotguns can deal a lot in a hit, and so can the... Uh, you're going to be my first kill. And so can the sniper rifles. 
but the flamethrower sets them on fire, which allows you to guarantee that they don't do that and will thus overheat. Theoretically. It's not working so hot right now. Which is interesting, really. This is one of the worst one-shots that I've had so far. I'm dying a lot. I'm not really an attacker, and really for an attacker, you need a much more... You either need a more careful approach, I think, because I'm getting right up close in their faces, or you need more... kill. That was not a kill for me. That was a kill for one of those guys. Ooh! Hey! That was a kill for me. That was not That was a kill for me. Okay, that's the end of today's one shot. I'll see you in the aftershots. Have a nice day.